Do you like candy? Oh, well, good to know. Because after today, after I show you what I'm about to show you, you're probably never gonna eat another piece of candy again. Beware. Today, I'm gonna show you some of the most disgusting and weirdest candies that you have ever seen. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name's Alexia, and let's jump right into it. Okay, first up, we got the Sour Flush, the iconic toilet bowl of a candy. Okay, guys, honestly, I've actually bought this before and I've eaten it on my other channel, Alexia Morano, in an ASMR. Go check that out if you want to see it. But this candy, ugh, it stays true to its name. Not only does it have the most sour powder in the inside of the toilet bowl, but it's also just so disgusting knowing that you're dipping your plunger into a toilet bowl and then licking it. I mean, can't say I've ever found anything looking like that in my toilet bowl. But hey, I don't know, maybe you guys have. Maybe y'all are a bunch of aliens disposing of some radioactive liquids that were never meant to be eaten. And to be honest, I don't think this sour flesh was either. Ugh. Okay, next up we have the lobster candy. And funny enough, guys, funny enough, I have actually also eaten these in my ASMR on my other channel. These are essentially hard candies that you pop in your mouth and they're supposed to taste like lobster. Spoiler alert, they're salty, they're not sweet, and they're definitely disgusting. I mean, I thought the whole point of candies were that you pop them in your mouth after you ate some food at a restaurant so your breath don't smell stanky. But could you imagine eating one of these and then trying to get close to your date? Maybe even try and get a little smoochy smooch. You close your eyes, you go in for the kiss, and then bam, all you feel is a hand slapping your head away and some boy telling you that you smell like fish. I mean, fish are cute and all, but I'm not trying to have any eau de lobster perfume anytime soon. That's stanky. All I can say for this one is pickle candy canes. I actually saw these on Amazon at one point and I was very tempted to buy some, but I didn't. And now I'm pretty sure that these things don't even exist anymore. I can so see someone just filing a lawsuit. He gave his grandpa pickle candy cane. Poor grandpa thought it was mint flavor, but uh-uh, grandpa. You went for a sour surprise. Grandkids probably thought that they were pulling some funny prank on their grandpa, but then the only sour look they got from grandpa was on his face after he was so angry for eating that disgusting thing. I guess a pickle a day keeps the grandpa away, even on Christmas. We got some salsa getty here and I have no idea what this thing is. It don't sound good and I'm assuming it don't look good either. Yeah, does not look appealing to me. It's like some candy that looks like spaghetti with some spices and hot sauce on there. I mean, can we just take a look at this for a second? How on earth are we supposed to eat that thing? You telling me I'm gonna pick that up with my bare hands, put it on my mouth, only for my hand to be sticky with some disgusting goop after? Maybe if it was a whole meal or something, but that candy looks the size of my pinky finger. I ain't dirty in my hands for a one bite brownie situation. At least brownies taste good. This looks like some spaghetti you get at your friend's house and you know they didn't cook it well but you have to eat it to be polite mm, yeah mm, tastes so good mm, i promise i love it Ugh. and the taste never left your mouth since even your taste buds got scarred Percy Pig Angry Birds Pez Candies. Last time I checked, Pez Candies are supposed to be tasty. I used to take my Pez container everywhere. Star Wars, Spider-Man, SpongeBob ones, I had them all. But these ones look like some cute little pigs. I mean, I get it since some pig packaging that's green and supposed to gross you out. But excuse me, sir, it's not about what's on the outside, it's about what's on the inside, and that's the yummy candy. I don't care if it looks like a a pig, a banana, or even some dirt at the bottom of my shoe. If that thing tastes good, it tastes good. I'll eat just about anything. I'll even eat you. Watch out. Okay, guys, you know how I just said I'd eat anything? Well, I take that back because behold, the chocolate covered crickets. Yes, these are real bugs covered in dark chocolate and they're in little ball pieces and there's probably other things in there that's trying to disguise the craziness about eating crickets. Toasted crickets, amaranth seeds, semi-sweet, 
chocolate, and sea salt. Now, I ain't no chef, but who's just sitting there chilling, going about their day, and was like, hmm, you know what's a great idea? Putting chocolate over top of live crickets and then eating them. What kind of bad, horrible day do you have to be having to have those sick, twisted thoughts in your head? You think it was just some serial killer who was too scared to do the real thing with real people? So he decided to do it with crickets instead? Ugh. It's 2021, family, and we have equality for everybody, even crickets. We stand crickets on this channel now. I cheese and onion chocolate bars. I mean, guys, chocolate is good, don't get me wrong, but I do not think that it goes with everything. Cheese, good. Onions, good. Chocolate, good. But all three mixed together, mm, not good, dude, not good. At least I think because I've never had the chocolate bar before. So if any of y'all have had anything similar to this, let me know in the comments and I will heart your comment and call you a freak at the same time. Musk flavored candy sticks. Okay, before today, I thought musk was this thing that you call a guy. I thought if they smell a certain type of way, you'd be like, oh, you smell musky. It's one of those manly things, you know, maybe they were working in the yard, cutting down some trees, and then they walk in and you're like, dang, babe. You smell musky. I like it. But now this candy has me questioning my whole thought process. I don't really know what musk is supposed to smell like. Maybe it's something bad, but apparently there's something like 20 million of these candies sold every single year. So it seems like people like it. I mean, I would rather have a candy that tastes like cherries or strawberries, but if y'all want to have your candy smelling like yucky, stinky boy, then you go ahead. Wasabi flavored Kit Kats. Do I even need to say more? This is only available in Japan and makes me wanna hop on an airplane right now and go there. I've never actually been to Japan family. I've only been to their airport and even the airport was really cool. So ever since then, I really, really wanna go back to Japan and these wasabi flavor Kit Kats is just another reason to go. I mean, I love wasabi on my sushi, but in my Kit Kat bar, I don't know. That's a pretty crazy idea, Kit Kat. You think the people working over there were just thinking of a new flavor and they just couldn't think of a new idea? They're like, screw it. We like wasabi, just put it in the chocolate bar. Kit Kat, I think y'all are the ones that need to take a break. Cause that idea is crazy. I'd still try it though. Probably like it too. Hmm. And the last candy, which is the most crazy out of all of them, is chocolate rolled fried worms. These are real worms that are rolled in chocolate. I think it's like an apple that's covered in chocolate and then they roll it into a ball. And look, there's a kid eating it in some candy and I guess they're getting their protein in. They make it with all these different kinds of things, snacks, chocolate, vegetables. They going crazy for these things. I know we've all been trying to eat healthier lately. You know, staying at home on that quarantine diet but do we really gotta eat worms we're talking about worms people the animal that literally lives in the dirt and they're so small and thin can you imagine just eating one and then it gets stuck between your teeth like some dental floss not only can you eat it it cleans your teeth too how you think your dentist would feel about that one but anyways family that is all of the weird and disgusting candies that i have for you today if you like today's video don't forget to smash that like button and if you want to join the family which i hope you do hit that subscribe button and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos that i post i love you all so much and i'll see you all in the next video